Hi there, I'm Tesla and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how we can cause partial destruction to a destructible mesh. Okay, so I'm running the first person template and the first thing I'm going to do is open up the My Projectile Blueprint. And I'm going to start by just breaking these links and moving this event hit up because I just want to use this for this tutorial. And this is going to work the same as if you're using a line trace weapon. So the first thing we're going to do is say when this fires, so when the projectile collides with something, we want to check with the actor that's hit and we want to cast to a destructible actor to see if it's hit a destructible mesh and if it has we can say, well if it hasn't first we could say a uh, destroy actor so the projectile will destroy itself but then we could say if it does hit a destructible actor we can then get the destructible component of the actor and apply some damage to it and you know what, I'm going to use apply radius damage. And the hit at the hurt origin is going to be the hit location. Base damage, I'm going to set this to 10. Damage radius, I'm just going to set to 32. And impulse strength, I'm going to set to 1000. Okay, and the true output from this cast is going to go to this apply radius damage. So this is all we need to do for this blueprint for it to work properly with a destructible mesh. Okay, so now we need a destructible mesh in the map. So I'm going to go to the starter content folder. Actually, I'm going to go to the meshes folder and just use this cube. So I'm going to right click on it and create a destructible mesh from it. And all we have to do is click fracture mesh. And we need this set up in the correct way. So I need to change some settings on here. I'm going to say damage threshold is going to be set to 30. So it takes three shots to make a chunk f fall apart of this. And we need to make sure that accumulate damage is checked and also that support depth is set to 1 and this should be good to go now so I'm going to drag this out into the map and just uh, shoot it and there we go So thanks for checking this tutorial out, I hope it helps, and if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one tutoring, please check out more information at my website at www.tesla-dev.com. Cheers guys.